This toilet's got a concealed cistern behind a cabinet I've made. And it's got a um, push button flush. And you can see at the moment, it's just not working. Press that, and nothing's actually happening. So I've got to repair it. First thing I'm going to do is take this top off. I'll show you that. I've just taken the lid off. And as you can see, the push button, there's a, it's just a pneumatic thing. Works on a, a piper there. Which then travels to the concealed system. And I'll open that up and show you. I'm just going to take the push button mechanism off and reattach it so I can use it for testing. And that's all it is. This is where the water is coming in, the inlet, and you can see obviously when that's pressed down it fills up with water. And the flush mechanism is inside this green cylinder. If I put my finger down, I can feel the flush which lifts up. And also, I can lift it up with my finger. So the actual flush mechanism is working. It's just that the push button isn't causing it to flush. This is a stop valve here, which uh, allows me to turn the water off. So this front piece comes off. So hopefully it will allow me to get a screwdriver in there. Not that one, so I'll have to get a smaller one. Due to the awkwardness of getting the screwdriver in there, I'm using a one pence piece. There you can see, just got it in the upright position and now the water should be uh, off. And the way to test that is to um, flush it and see if it fills it with water or not. That's also going to empty the system for me. Just allow as much of the water to empty as I can. And you can see there's no water filling up, so I'm happy that I've switched the water off correctly. Okay, I'm just going to remove this bit. That just clips out easily. You can see there's just two plastic clips there that go onto that pipe. So now that's out of my way, I can get a better look at what I'm doing. Because I need to remove this piece to get to this cylinder which is where the problem is. Next thing I want to do is remove this mounting clip and get my nail in there. You see that opens. So I want to remove this piece. I'm probably going to have to just unscrew this to, um, to take this bit off. Now I'm um, going to unscrew this take this arm away so that I can move it. And that's out. And you can see the mechanism. There's a black diaphragm, a rubber diaphragm in there. Careful that doesn't fall into the system out of view. And now that that's out, it allows me access to the bit that I need to remove, which is this a big green sort of um, flush valve and I want to remove that from the base. 
Okay, the way to remove this green flush valve from the base is to turn it anti-clockwise and it just releases. Now it's attached to this uh, blue piece of plastic by the pipe, so I'm just going to remove. come out of the system. Now I've just got to work out why that's not flushing. That's the area where I've removed it from. You can see there's like a black housing that goes into the pipe. And this thing next to it is the uh, the overflow, I believe. Once it's pumped, it should cause it to pull up like so, which releases the flush. And for some reason, it's not doing that. So I'm going to take this top bit off and see what's inside. Looks like this has come away. I found what the problem was is this bit of plastic is broken. Okay, the problem is is this piece of plastic's broken. You can see the one on the other side's fine. I thought about putting everything on that side, but I was unable to do so because this diaphragm is glued in. So fix the, uh, the pivot point and fix the problem. My advice to you at this stage is to be just to buy a new part. However, what I'm going to try and do is try and put a piece of metal there to pivot this on, which will be stronger and uh, see if I can get it to work again. Here's my piece of metal that's going to fit in there. It's going to be bolted in on that part. I'm going to cut a bit off and drill a hole there where that mark is and uh, that's where my pivot point will be. Okay, as you can see I've made a little metal bit for the equivalent broken plastic and now my pivot's in metal. Okay, um, you can see where I've put metal piece on as a new pivot instead of the broken bit of plastic. Uh, it's not a perfect repair but it does the job. You can see it works when I'm pumping it. I'm going to put plenty of petroleum jelly on just to uh, grease it up because it's uh, plastic on metal. Okay I've just um, clipped this lid back on clip it on there and there and I'm going to take the opportunity while all the bits are out, out of the toilet to give them a good clean before I put them back in. I'm also going to give this a clean down here with a antibacterial wipe. Now the flush file is clean I want to put it back in. You can see there there's some holes. There's two holes on the side of it and then there's some stoppers which you can see there and they've got to be seated in the unit so you can see there's only one particular way that's going to go back in I don't know if you can see right down there can see where it's gonna slot back in. Okay I've just dropped it in sort of at a I don't know 45 degree angle and then it, there we are 
Oh, that seems to have secured. And that feels firm. This part has a little groove at the top there you can see, so it can only go in one direction. So I'm gonna attach that now. Here with two hands. Now that that's screwed back on, undo the retaining clip, slot that in. There we are, that's okay. I just uh, add the top bit. in that it just clips on as so and now I need to uh, attach the blue bit that goes on the front okay you can see this attached to the remainder of the, the pump for the flush There we go, and that can fit on the uh, the front. This is what an eco flush. This toilet, uh, they're not very good. They don't provide much water per flush. I certainly wouldn't recommend one because you end up flushing twice. Okay, so give that a go. Okay, that sounds like it's working and I'll just put the water supply back on and see if once we fold her up if there's any issues okay, I've just opened the valve and the water is just all flowed in and this is the moment of truth really See if everything's working. Oh, good. The stop cock's working. Everything seems to be working quite well at the moment in there. I can't see any leaks anywhere. So, now for the moment of truth with the flush. Brilliant. There's my lid. Screwed on again. Attach my pipe. Put the lid on. Keep the dust out. Okay, it's all back in place now. Um, I hope um, if you've had the same problem, this uh, video has helped you. And for the final flush, happy days. <laughs>